Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here with Bish's RV on just a drizzly kind of day, which weirdly may be a good day to look at this little camper right here with its nice big super slide, gives you some decent rainy day living space when you can't spend all the time you'd prefer to spend uh, outdoors on the picnic table. This is the 25RB Heritage Glen Hyperlite, or you could call it the Salem 25RBHL. Uh, uh, They're literally the exact same thing, by the way. Uh, all they do is just change the name on the front of the camper. Exact same RV. Uh, Every manufacturer, it seems like in the lighter weight kind of uh, half ton-ish travel trailer market makes a floor plan like this. So why would you choose the Salem Wildwood versus somebody else? Like imagine Rockwood, a uh, couple different Jayco's, like everybody makes something like this. They each do it a little bit different. There's some things on this I think you're really gonna like. And there's a couple things on this. I know for a fact some people are gonna say, if it doesn't have this widget that I'm looking for, absolutely no sale. And that's cool. That's the stuff that I wanna smoke out with these videos. I wanna show you where each RV really kind of stands out on its own merits. Um, and, and maybe which ones have some points of concern that you really might want to uh, look at before you dive in too far. I'm kind of mush mouthing my words here today, obviously. So a couple highlights on this one. Um, the uh, uh, the windows are tinted and have the nice blackout roller shades, which the stick and tin Wildwood Salem's do not. Every single Heritage Glen or Hemisphere, as they're called in the Salem's, has 12 volt tank heater pads on every single holding tank, which is very cool. Uh, there's a lot of really good, like I said, standout features on each one of these. This has some very respectable storage as well. Uh, you know, for a smaller trailer, big storage is sometimes really hard to come by. Now. It's got things like very limited campsite windows, which reminds me, like yesterday, uh, my daughter looked out the front windows of our house. We, we live like right next to a city park and she goes, dad, there's boys in the yard. And I was like, oh, my milkshakes. Okay, so if you're a regular follower of RVs or videos, like I said, you've seen this floor plan a thousand thousand times. So I thought I'd give us a fresh look at it, and I'd actually go about this one from, like, the backwards order of things I normally would. We're actually in the bedroom going to be facing backwards from the start. Not something I uh, commonly do here. Now, um, we're going to focus on the living room area first, kind of, uh, you know, the, the rear section of the middle. Centralized air standard on these. You naturally have an option for a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. And you know those, uh, you know, TVs that swing out on a little pivoting arm? Well, this ain't one of those. <laughs> uh, again, I'm not gonna pull punches where I see stuff. I do like that electric space heat and Tootsie Toaster down there. And notice that you don't have any vents in the floor. That does help with the cleaning factor on this one, though it does maintain a classic carpeted slide with a strip of carpet in front of it. That is for uh, engineering purposes. It could be engineered out of the RV, perhaps in the future that will happen. If that's a big make or break factor for you, leave me a little comment and that gives us the ammo that we send stuff to the factory. Go, look, you just lost a sale because there's carpet in the slide. Or if you like the carpet and would like it to stay there, make sure you point that out too. So let me know kind of what your vote is. Um, the uh, theater seat over here, um, one of the things that's easy to miss is like you see that big center console armrest in there. Well, if you peek inside of that, you actually see where uh, it has USB plugs hidden in there. So you could have like a little phone charging cable just kind of dangling out of it, which I, I it's, it's a simple thing, but it's those little niceties that kind of give me good feels about uh, RV brands. Now, all of the windows are UV tinted. They all open for airflow, including the slide side windows, which is a really key detail because this falls roughly in the same class as something eh, like, like maybe a Vibe or a uh, Alpha Wolf. They don't always do those side breeze windows like you're looking at right here. Vibe does tend to be good about it, but their big panoramic windows don't always open for airflow. So uh, Wildwood Salem here is giving us both. And you notice how they have the blackout nightshades, and on the back side of those is actually a, uh, a white backer so that if it's screaming hot out, you know, you can, you can remain pretty darn comfortable. Now, pardon me, I'm going to slide to the right over here instead of sliding to the left. Now, everybody, clap your hands. <laughs> but... This is the view from the theater seat right here. Now, when you're just sitting down, the TV is mounted a little high. When you kick the theater seat back though, and you angle upward more organically, it feels better. Some people like that, some people don't. I know that some people got neck issues and I wanna make sure you you know can get a better feel for this. Nothing is as good as trying on the RV for size like in person, but I, I wanna get you as close to that as I reasonably can. Um, you will see for the, uh, the bedroom and the bathroom, 
They both have the big like sliding style barn doors, which is one of the things that I think really helps open this floor plan up and make it look and feel nice and large. Um, pardon my little umbrella on the countertop over there. It's kind of drizzling on and off a, uh, a, a little bit. Um, oh, you know what? That's interesting. Instead of a towel hook, they did just a little towel uh, spike or whatever hook, as it were. That's the word I'm looking Not spike. That's stupid. Anyway, um, this bathroom, in case you had noticed, is massive. But with that space, look at the storage that they gave us. And take note of that awesome countertop space uh, as we go through here. You know, they... They really maximize this. Now, pardon my umbrella. Let me get this out of the way over here because there is something I really want you to see. Very intelligently located outlets. Not only do you have things for like, you know, blow dryers and shavers where you can easily reach them, but USB plugs. Uh, there are more and more and more um, things like USB rechargeable toothbrushes and things like that. Um, and, and folks, dedicate this video to Mr. Anton K., uh, the creator of the phrase bazooka butt. This is as fluffy friendly as it gets. I think our buddy Matt would refer to that as prime pooping position. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. Um, I tell you, uh, people sometimes go, what do you, what do you think about him? I, I, I think that we're, uh, very similar. We're just a, a couple goofy guys waving cameras around things. You know, it's not, uh, I'm not Scorsese, as it were. Anyway, um, the uh, the shower here. You might have noticed my head up in that bubble. Uh, that is because this is a six and a half foot sidewall. So you got to kind of keep that in mind a little bit. Um, the uh, shower, though, you might notice is one of the more rectangular varieties. And I wanted to make sure I do my Steven Tyler don't want to miss a thing here. And let you see that not only do you have that extra closet space in here, you have some sweet linen. Like the storage in this RV is way better than what you'd expect. Now, this is an open pocket, which I don't mind because if you're sitting on the stool, the door is going to kind of open at you. So maybe you, you're going to keep your extra toilet paper or something there. I don't know. However you're going to camp, it's going to get the job done for you. Um, swinging around, uh, <laughs> swing slowly as it were, taking a look back at the living room space. So if you first walk in the door and look to the right, this is a little bit more of what we're going to be looking at right here. This is usually how I kind of start things out. It's got me all off kilter doing things like this, but I think sometimes it's good to kind of shake things up. It's like if you're exercising and you're not making progress in the gym, do a completely different exercise and suddenly you'll start making progress because your body's like, oh, hey, yeah, that makes me work again. I got used to the other thing. Sorry, um, I didn't realize I was going, going to be giving RV fitness advice when I did this video today. Not that I'm obviously, I don't know if you've seen my fat body. I am uh, certainly no authority uh, on that topic. Now, if we look over here, you can see there's a big door behind that TV. Peeking inside of that, this has what I'm going to call the walk-in closet, pantry closet combo over here we have the 12 volt dc compressor fridge you could swap shin that out for a gas electric two-way by the way which would pair up nicely with the uh factory solar package if you want to do a little extended off gridding um notice how they're throwing shelves in the overhead cabinets that's something that salem and wildwood are very good about and in this kitchen uh on the non-laminated like bedroom facing forward wall they give us some household outlets right there which uh kind of like the bathroom Perfect for things like appliances. The, the everyday use and function details, they've really, really nailed on this. Now, there's a couple of preferential features maybe you'd prefer. I do like that they're uh, giving us like a porcelain stool. Um, I do like that they're giving us sealed edge counters. I'm personally not a big fan of the pedestal style table right here, but if uh, you need to kind of push down on the table to help yourself get up, that ain't too awful bad. And obviously that can fold down into a, a little sleeper. Um, I'd have to double check the options list, but I got to believe, by the way, that a high to bed sleeper sofa is also an available option here. And I tell you what, that kitchen skylight, it really helps uh, visually open up the kitchen area, especially considering this is not an extra tall camper, but not everybody needs an extra tall camper. I would prefer personally an extra tall camper, but I can get by like this kind of like personally, despite my height, I can get by on the 60 by 74 Camp Queen. Hyper Lights have a 60 by 74 Camp Queen. A full Heritage Glen or Hemisphere Salem 
um, they have true queen beds. So that's kind of one of the differentiating factors. These are intentionally made to be a little smaller, a little lighter. Kind of keep that in mind. Um, the bedroom window over here is very nice. Now, this is not a bedroom door model which uh, is going to pose a bit of a problem when it comes to road mode accessibility. We are going to come back and take a look at that in just a minute though. First of all, you might be wondering, does it not have TV hookups in the bedroom? And it does. So you're gonna want definitely a swing arm TV if you put one in here. But I left this closet door open on, uh, on purpose. Notice how it doesn't go, all, it doesn't follow the curvature of the front wall. That's because they actually have little headboard uh, side pockets over here. And notice once again, the really intelligent outlet locations. I'm, I'm telling you, I like a lot of the things that they've done here. Now, there's definitely some things I think some people would prefer that aren't done here. But at the same time, one of the things that you're getting with a uh, uh, Hemisphere or Heritage Glen is a, uh, a little bit more aggressive price tag while still maintaining... I think almost all of the really critical daily use and feel kind of functions, but that's my two cents. What do you think about that? Now, flipping around here, uh, I think actually starting in the bathroom gives you a very good idea of the fact that, uh, yes, you can access the bathroom very easily when the slide's closed. In point of fact, you can access almost anything with the slides closed, uh, or slide, as it were. Uh, specifically, I want to point out not just the fridge, but the kitchen drawers, because a lot of people who build this floor plan will sometimes put those drawers to the left uh, side of the, uh, you know, under the sink cabinet space. And you can't get to them in transit. These you can. That being said, uh, you're losing access to the bedroom with this design. Some people really care about that. Some don't. If you want a second door to access the bedroom in transit... Uh, check the links in the video description. I'll leave some similar versions of this floor plan from other manufacturers. And if you like not having that second door there, well, hey, congratulations. Your wish has been granted. By the way, one of the cool things with this floor plan, um, it's a cable driven slide, which is very lightweight. It can allow for floor flush operation. And like a rack and pinion slide, if you open it only partially, it unscrew the thing up. Now you shouldn't be using the slide. Like don't sit around and hop around and do a, who, who did an atomic elbow drop? Was that Randy Savage? Because uh, Hogan had the atomic leg drop. I don't know. Don't go John Cena WWE smashing that thing when the slide's only partially open. But if you need to get up there just to, like, pack something or unpack dirty clothes after a trip or something like that, you can without necessarily needing to open the entire thing. Handy little tidbit for you. Now let's talk towing real quick. Uh, 6,500 pounds empty weight. Remember, you got to factor in some cargo weight, and depending on how you camp, uh, if you like to tow with some water in the tanks to make some pit stops, or if you're going to be boondocking, you know, you got to factor that stuff in there too. So the question on these always becomes, is it half ton towable? The wide stance stability axles that we're going to see certainly help that factor. And my answer to the question, I think, is it really depends on the half ton truck in question because they are not all created equally. The good news is that with a few minutes to chat with you, our team can uh, assist you with some questions like that and always make sure we get your safety before the sale. Now, these are all um, prepped for uh, like a roof solar package, which basically means, you know, there's like a wire from the roof run down to that little sticker space right there where a charge controller could be mounted. They do have a uh, battery tender solar package available on these. Then again, we can always, you know, if you're looking for more solar than the factory offers, we can always pretty much custom build you anything. Um, once again, Salem and Wildwood, the exact same thing. Don't let somebody try to tell you one is better than the other. They are quite literally identical. And it's subjective. I kind of like the look of this. It's almost like a classic kind of cream exterior. It's like everything is white and black and, and things like that. Sometimes I, it is nice just to see a different color option on here. Um, a, a little point of critique, again, trying to be fair. That uh, left-hand awning arm comes up right to the entry door. So on a spritzy, rainy day like today, truth, folks, you are going to get spritzed in the face every time you walk in or out of that door. I don't love that fact, but I, I'm, willing to I'm willing to have rather real conversations with folks so you can get your second camper the first time. Now, not everybody, uh, how can I say this? Everyone who builds this RV, this layout does it a little bit differently. 
What they did right here though, I think really helps this one stand out from the pack. They included that handy little camp kitchen because this is located under the like L corner portion of the uh, the kitchen countertop area where you can't really use it as storage inside. So they found a way to open it up and make it functional outdoors. Now, if you don't care about all this, you could always, it's standard by the way, you could always just take it out. You could remove the griddle. You could use it however you wanted to. Nothing says you have to use it as a camp kitchen. I like how they did it though. Now, again, just trying to be fair and critiquing. You better make sure you've got the drink of choice out of that fridge before you start griddling. Although, if you notice, at least they made sure that the refrigerator door can open unimpeded if you do need to reach in there real quick and you don't mind reaching over something warm. Obviously, I just want to urge you to uh, use a little caution there. Because the last thing anybody wants is go visit Uncle Gary at the burn unit, you know. By the way, did you notice magnet holdbacks on that outside kitchen door so the wind doesn't flip that thing around and cause it to smack into stuff? Handy little uh, leash latch over here. And uh, Salem Wildwood t tends to be very good about locating those under the awning so that your pet is in the shade and not sitting out in the sun, you know, you know, sweating to death, basically. Uh, panting, as it were. The speakers are a little higher than I personally prefer, but at least they are angled downward dog a little bit. And you see TV hookups outdoor is also kind of cool. Now we talked about towing and I mentioned wide stance stability axles. Why, why does that matter? Basically when the axles are spread further apart like this, what it does is the trailer is less inclined to bounce and sway and wiggle or shiggle as it were shiggle bounce <laughs> and uh it, it's not a replacement for a proper load leveling anti-sway hitch it is an awesome supplement to something like that though um no window in the entry door i know not everybody is in love with that it's just a thing that salem and wildwood don't do although i've had a uh, uh a customer have two windows installed in their door, one high and one low, which once I saw it, I was like, oh my lord, I really like that. This is also easy to miss back here. Um, your uh, electrical hookups you can see are above the water sources, but you also do have a black tank flush on that little rectangular you know, hookup panel down below. It's something that maybe isn't always uh, plainly obvious. Um, uh, you do have a uh, outside cold water sprayer port by the grill station. So if you have a little, uh, you know, basin, you can do a little hand wash in there. But on the back, you do have an outside uh, hot and cold shower. Now, the roof of these is walkable. Um, there is currently no ladder available on these. I, oh, I checked on this before I recorded this and I just blanked. I am so sorry. Uh, I need to see if they are ladder prepped and capable. But one of the things you can see they are prepped and ready for are slide awnings, which is a neat little thing. So it can actually help reduce the amount of times you need to get up and down on the roof there. Uh, and once again, something by your request. And thank you viewers for continuing to help improve and guide our channel. You said, I want a better look at the sewer outlets on these things. This is very common on this style of floor plan where you've got a front like kitchen and then we've got a, uh, a rear bathroom. And as a result, that means we have a black and a gray back here, but then you have a gray up front because they can't cross pipe across those axles uh, and get everything to drain properly. So, uh, you know, not my favorite thing to showcase, but again, I am willing to showcase the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. And when you're ready, I hope you know that there's a place that'll shoot you straight when you decide to do some business. And as you can see, we also have those nice kind of like slam latch baggage doors uh, and magnet holdbacks even on that camp kitchen uh, big swing out door right there. Maybe not VRV for everyone, but I'd love to hear where you think they nailed it, where you think they could improve. And if you appreciate what we do here, if you're new with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, like our video, help spread that message. Appreciate it very much, guys. Remember, you can check the link in the video description for pricing and availability. And I will leave you additional links in the video description to check out other builders of floor plans like this so you can cross compare and pick the one that fits you best. And either way, we got you covered at Bish's RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and best wishes from Bish's, everyone.